Hi everybody, Matt Mariglia here to help you grab your student email addresses. If you can do this through eSchool data, I believe it's the easiest way. And even if the district shared with us a master list, which I don't know if they will, you can still get your student emails in groups um, that are easy to use in this way. Um, open up a roster. I have my uh, eighth grade roster opened up, um, one of my class periods. So six to 12, you might have to do this multiple times if you want to group those emails by class. Uh, K to five, maybe only once for the kids you have. Uh, but in that roster, in that class roster, you'll see a reports button. If you click on that, you can click on student contacts. Um, you could click on Excel here, but it's, I don't believe it's going to give you everything that you need. Um, to make the spreadsheet easy to handle, I would definitely click on reports and click on student contacts. When you do that, you're going to get um, this report. Um, with all their names, household addresses, phones, but really all you need is those emails. Um, I would click off of that guardian thing right there and then click on that Excel button. Now, for those of us that use, that use Google, this is going to open an Excel doc. We can easily save this and move this into Google Docs if we want, um, but if you have Excel on any of your computers, you should be able to just do it that way. Uh, when you click on that Excel, it's going to download a spreadsheet to your computer and when you open it up, it's going to look something like this. Now, all of these columns from E all the way to the end, you don't need them. So you can just highlight them and delete them. Um, all you need is this list right here. This says student email. So if you want to keep the names and grades with them, you can. But I would delete B and C and then E all the way through. And now you have just a spreadsheet of your student emails in alphabetical order. You can take that list and you can copy and paste it for use, um, excuse me, in Google Classroom. You can copy and paste it and use it um, in a calendar invite if you're inviting people to a, a Google Hangout or Hangouts Meet or a chat. Um, so this allows you to bulk load your emails into things. Um, if you just want to send a group email to your students, um, that's a way to do it. Um, and I'm going to make another video showing you how to make uh, group emails. They're called labels in contacts. Uh, I hope this helped. Um, this is Matt Mariglia, and if you have any questions, shoot me an email, and I will try and help you.